Your phones could go blank, the Earth's satellite communications might get hit and your GPS could experience troubles because something is speeding towards Earth at 1.6 million kilometers per hour. A solar storm is fast approaching the planet Earth. So what is the solar storm and why will this affect us on planet Earth? We will tell you everything that you need to know about it in this special video. You're watching TV9 News and I'm your host Deepak. In less than 24 hours, the Earth will brace a geomagnetic storm. At the speed of 1.6 million kilometers per hour, a solar storm is expected to batter various parts of planet Earth and the weather experts are maintaining a strict vigil on the pattern of its movement. Now, solar flares or a solar storm are nothing but massive explosions on the surface of the sun that release energy, light and also high-speed particles into space. Just on July 3rd, a solar flare was seen flowing from an equatorial hole in the sun's atmosphere. And the world's premier space agency, NASA, now says that a solar flare is likely to hit Earth's magnetic field today or tomorrow. Remember, in May this year, millions of tons of superheated gas on the sun shot off to 90 million miles towards Earth. And when this mass eruption or ejection hit the Earth's magnetic field, it triggered the strongest geomagnetic storm seen for years. Now, how do these solar storms form? The Sun basically goes through a transitional shift in its magnetic polarity, one where the North Pole becomes the South Pole and also vice versa. Now, during such a shift, the mag magnetic forces get tangled and the surface ejects plasma which is a byproduct of heating the gas at unimaginable temperatures. And the atoms in this process break apart into charged particles, which turns gas into plasma, which is nothing but a solar wind. And these winds are so hot that it escapes the sun's gravity, shoots past planets while also interacting with their magnetic fields. Remember, this is not the same type of plasma that is found in your blood. It is the same name, but a different stuff altogether. Now, how will this solar storm affect mobile phones and GPS signals? The storm erupting from the sun will be heating its way towards the Earth and the collisions of solar winds are too hot to handle for the Earth's magnetic field. So, it will impact communication, energy transmission and also weather in the region as strong electrical currents from these solar winds or storms can cause changes in the Earth's ionosphere affecting the high-frequency radio communications, mobile phones and also GPS signals. According to NASA, radio communication for flights bound to and from the transpolar regions will also be affected during this happening. Now, there arises a question whether Earth has been hit by such solar storms in the past or not. Well, about 32 years ago, in 1989, a March solar storm caused a 9-hour blackout at Hydro-Quebec's electricity transmission in Canada. However, the largest solar storm had occurred in 1859, which was called the Carrington Event. Now, scientists claim that the incoming solar storm may accelerate further than 1.6 million kilometers per hour and its impact can be felt on the subsolar point on the sunlit side of the Earth. However, as the Earth has braced similar storms in the past, some of them even larger than the current one. So we hope that this too shall pass. So do share this video with your friends and family members and also do not forget to subscribe to TV9 News on various social media platforms. Many thanks for watching and have a great day.